Hello again, you amazing humans. Welcome back to HemingwayLand.com, your source, quality, affordable land. This is our preview, the weekly preview. All the properties going live on the website for tomorrow, Friday, October 8th, 2021. Before I get started on that, guys, a little story, a little advice. In case any of you have watched these videos and you're like, man, that Hemingway guy seems like he's having a lot of fun. How can I start my own online land business? Here's some advice for those of you who would like to do this in the future. There will come a day, this day, it occurs once every roughly two weeks, where you will receive a call. A call from someone claiming to be a cash buyer. Now, let me say this. Beginning a conversation telling me you're a cash buyer, there is, there is no greater disqualifier. There is nothing that signals in my brain that this is a giant waste of my time than someone beginning a conversation with, I am a cash buyer. The statement, I am a cash buyer, to me is akin to, I'm really good in bed. It's like that. It's like, well, if you have to say it, I feel like you're not, but um, okay, whatever. Anyway, what are you calling about? So the point is, I am a cash buyer is, uh, is a statement. It is always prologue. It is always preamble to trying to talk you into some amazing discount because they're willing to pay cash. Everybody, I guess they're under the impression that everybody else pays us in hugs and smiles or something, but they've got actual money, and so I should be afforded some major discount that the regular hoi polloi are not given. Case in point, this past week received a call from a guy. Oh, and by, by the way, let me say this. Uh, this I am a cash buyer thing, this is particularly the case if that statement is preceded or followed by the word bro. Bro, I'm a cash buyer. I'm a cash buyer, bro. Automatic disqualifier. This person's relationship with cash is they can spell the word. That's about it. Maybe, maybe, maybe they could buy something for cash, spark plugs, chewing gum, but not land and not from me. Whatever the case. Guy calls the other day about a property in Socorro County. And um, of course, he hasn't been to the website. He hasn't read or watched one single thing. So he calls, he's like, I'm looking at some land in, uh, I, think it's, uh, I think it's pronounced Socorro. Is it uh, Socorro County? I think you're talking about Socorro County. It's uh, Socorro, I think. Fine. What, what's the question? Anyway, uh, the property's 1500 but he's, he's got cash. But he will pay no more than 300 And in my mind, first off, it's a, little, it's a little insulting. But in my mind, I'm like, what kind of margins do you think we must be making on these properties to take an 80% discount and still somehow keep the lights on around here? I don't know. Whatever the case, I had to let the guy down. Uh, which, which I would also encourage you to do when that time comes. I'm a cash buyer. Nothing, no, no greater disqualifier on the phone than I am a cash buyer. I don't think we've ever sold a property to anyone who's called us in advance to announce that they are in possession of money. Anyway, all right, guys, with all that said, do want to thank all the people who bought land from us this past week in Socorro County, Chris, Lisa, Peter, and guys, check this out, ba-boom, in Hidalgo County, this property we listed sometime around the Carter administration finally found a buyer. That buyer's name is Thomas. Thank you, Thomas. They can't all be home runs, guys. Most of these sit in inventory about 30 to 90 days before they sell, but occasionally, occasionally, we do have one go well over a year, and that was the case here with Hidalgo County. And what's funny, not ha-ha funny, but ironic funny, is that uh, we first listed properties in Hidalgo County. We listed like three big ones, sold them in a weekend, and I was like, man, this Hidalgo County, this is where the money's at. Everybody's moving to Hidalgo County. And then we bought these two, and, you know, a year and a half later, not so much. Anyway, guys, that's all for me. Going live on the website this week. But boom we are in Colorado with the fourth and final acquisition in our Los Animas County rollout. The rollout. This one, LACO 1977, 7.75 acres, priced $25,000. It should be noted, guys, that this one, like the previous three that we have listed, is in the same general region, just north, northwest of Trinidad Lake State Park. This one, however, sits in a different subdivision. The Spanish Highland subdivision, it's not in Rancho Lagarias, it's right here off of this Mateo Road. Ooh, ooh, I know, let's go to the photos. And um, what is notable about this region is that like Rancho Lagarita, it has no HOA, no annual dues, no time limits on building. But it also has no covenants or restrictions, which means even greater independence and freedom to you, the potential buyer, to develop the land in whichever way your little heart desires. As I go through the photos here, you can see we've got some excellent road access here, well-maintained roads, power at the lot line. There's actually underground utilities in this region, uh, a lot of developed home sites out here, but none directly at the property. 
So our photographer got no photos of the ones that are roughly 500 feet away, but they are about 500 feet away. So likely not difficult to get uh, power, cable, internet, phone hooked up out here for uh, likely not difficult or expensive. Now, the reason I've paused on this photo, guys, is for the uh, sharp ohos in the group. You will see that way off here in the distance, we have something on the property. It is, as we approach, yes, an abandoned RV. Everybody loves when we get these properties that have abandoned RVs on them. Abandoned RVs or mobile homes. So we have actually have two right now in Los Animas County with uh, abandoned mobile home on the one and abandoned RV on the other. This is that RV. As always, guys, as we like to say in these videos, we buy these properties as is, we sell them as is. Uh, so you can purchase this. And on the inside, you may find gold bars. And uh, because we sold it to you as is, we have no claim to those gold bars. You may also find uh, rabid snakes or uh, an ancient curse. Who knows? But this is what the inside of the trailer looks like. Uh, so you can take the thing, you can refurbish it, perhaps, I don't know, you can sell it off for parts, uh, but either way, this comes free, free, guys, with the $25,000 property, and a poster over here, I can't read the entire poster, but something on it says, let me die, <laughs> I feel that's like, let me die, you know, drinking a beer or something, but that's what it says, anyway, uh, more of the property, guys, more of the property, some cutouts, some, uh, some forested areas, so on and so forth, Likely not difficult to develop as we uh, fast forward here in the photo gallery to the drone overhead shots, by the way. You can see the developed areas over here, some homes, pretty nice homes right over here just to the immediate north of the property. Here's some more in this photo, etc. So it's a pretty nice region, pretty bucolic little region. Again, right outside Trinidad Lake State Park and the town of Trinidad. And just to back up for a second... On the Colorado listing page, I don't know how obvious this is to some of you guys, but it's always kind of funny to me when you could tell the photographer took three photos on the same day, and then and then one photo on a completely different day, in which he had much better weather and much better light and was able to do a lot more with it. Ah, there you go. Kind of sticks out. Anyway, next up, guys. So here's the thing. Here's a little story, guys. Uh, Hemingway, I don't care. Get on with the properties. I know. Last week, David P. commented on the YouTube channel. He was like, hey. You're listing too many expensive properties. Where are the small dollar properties? And the week, this plan for this week was to only list this one property. But once David said that, I thought, well, that was some good criticism. That was some good constructive criticism. I know I should have a healthy mix. I try for a healthy mix. But rolling out a healthy mix on a weekly basis, a little difficult to do. Whatever the case, we got a whole bunch of properties in. Ba-boom, Estancia Ranchettes. The Estancia Ranchettes experiment continues in Torrance County, and uh, they all, let me pull up the spreadsheet here. They all basically were about 10 feet away from properties we sold in the past. So we decided on this one occasion for David P. And for all of you who have the same general problem with this channel, we thought we will recycle some of these photos because they're basically the same. The photo 10 feet down the road. We'll recycle some of these photos for these properties. And, uh, and we will list these. So we've got something like six new lots going live in Estancia Ranches this week. Of course, for the uninitiated, Estancia Ranchettes exists out here just east of Moriarty, right over here. So you are none too far from Moriarty. Some grocery stores, some convenience stores, things like that. Nearest Walmart is over here in Edgewood, roughly another 20 minutes up the road. Whatever the case, this is a subdivision that appeals to a lot of our buyers because the area predates Torrance County zoning, which basically means they leave it alone and they don't care what goes on out there. So... You can RV, you can camp out here, you can develop the, the, the region in unconventional ways that you would have more difficulty doing elsewhere. Again, full disclosure, consult with Torrance County Zoning, but the point is that land in this region usually provides a lot more freedom, a lot more independence than what you will find in the rest of the county or even within other parts of the state. So anyway, we've got a whole bunch of new lots out here, all of them basically one acre, give or take. This one that I've paused on right here, TRNM12129, is actually 2.65 acres. It's some kind of replatted thing, lots 20, 21, and 22. So this one, a uh, much bigger chunk of land than what you normally find in this area. This area is usually one acre, give or take. Uh, so this one we've got priced at 2,900. All of them have financing options except for this one. So for 250 down, 100 a month, blah blah blah. You could purchase one of the one acres, but for this one, we're looking for a cash buyer. Maybe that guy from the other day will call me back. Anyway, with all that said, guys, those are the new properties on the website. David P. I hope, I hope I made you happy this week. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. We will see you in next week's video when we will have. I think I, you know what? I don't even know what's coming up next week. I think they're more small dollar properties. I think we'll see. 
Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. See you next week.